I hope you have a, you had a fantastic day. It's now time to make it a little bit uh, sporty. My name is Moses Wahisi. We'll start with rugby. Now, we will have the Kenya Cup semi-finals and Kenya Harlequins will try as much as possible to make and also get a revenge and that is at the expense of total nondescript. In their regular season they were able to lose 21-13 and at this particular time the tactician is saying we are adamant, very optimistic that on Saturday we will try as much as possible to be able to get that sweet victory and the road to the semi-finals. Knowing the task ahead of them against nondescripts in the quarterfinals, Kenya Harlequins are leaving nothing to chance in their training. Uh, most of the last Saturday, we lose ball, we contact, we break down small. So, we have to do it on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Maybe we will miss the game, but we will be able to do it. So uh, maybe kwa kwa hii mechi inakuja ya weekend kwa finals against Nondis lakini hao wengine tuko sawa tuko sawa na tuko tayari Head coach Paul Murunga believes they have worked on their mistakes that saw them eliminated by Cabra Sugar in the semi finals last season Tutatumia zaidi wachezaji ambao wamekuwa na uzoefu wa kucheza katika michuano ya kuondoana uh, hiyo tuna imani kuwa wataweza kucheza vizuri uh, kuliko maybe wachezaji wenye wenye ambao hawana huo uzoefu. Queens will be aiming to bring back memories of 2012 when they last won the Kenya Cup title. A win against nondescripts in the quarter finals will boost Kenya Harlequins chances of bagging their eighth Kenya Cup title. Davis Meria, Kaiten Sports. Thank you very much, uh, Davis Mberia. Now, allow me to take you to the year 2012. In 2012, the then 